Hey everybody, welcome in. What's going on? What's going on? What's shaking, spiritual warriors? Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Thank you for your love, your support, your time, your energy. Thank you for co-creating this message with me. Do keep in mind this is general. Not all messages will resonate. So pick up what makes sense, what feels good, and then just leave the rest for someone else, okay? Welcome in. My name is Amanda. This is The Connected Conduit, and I am an evidential psychic medium, a channel for the divine, and a healer. So I'm picking up on someone that you're connected to, and it's really intense, and your person is relentless. Like, I've just been picking up on somebody who is pacing. There's a lot of intense emotions here, okay? Like heart chakra, explosion. There's frustration okay like frust they're frustrated that they feel stuck they're frustrated that they can't speak their truth or they're having trouble speaking up speaking their truth they could be frustrated because they're in a situation that right now they can't get out of they're frustrated there's tension there's desire there's triggering here there's massive triggering massive you guys you've really really triggered this person into some sort of healing process and at the same time like i feel this energy like they want to pounce like it's keeping like they have to use every ounce of strength that they have to hold back to refrain from pouncing that's what i'm getting i'm seeing like a panther stalking its prey <laughs> and it wants to pounce but it's hiding, it's hiding in the shadows, waiting for the right moment. It's hungry, okay? Like really, really hungry. I also heard I can't eat, I can't eat, I can't sleep, I feel sick, I'm terrified. All right, I'm gonna ring the bowl, see if anything else wants to come through. Are you ready? I just heard I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Prepared. I also just heard prepare for union. And then I just heard this has been a long time coming. A long time coming. Wow. Okay. All right, let's pull on this. Two of cups, ace of cups on the split. It's been a long time coming. There's union with your soulmate. This is a balanced partnership. Mutual love, mutual attraction. Your cupeth will be overfloweth with all the good feels, okay? All right, let's get some energy out here. four of wands you guys oh my gosh i'm so excited for you i just saw 33 on the timestamp, like three minutes 30 seconds so three three you could be seeing a lot of threes okay so i just channeled out for you guys prepare for union prepare for union and the four of wands comes out so this literally means union and it could be with the twin flame, you guys, only if you feel like you're on that journey, if you instinctively feel that union is close, that is confirmation for you. These messages only confirm what you already intuitively know and feel, right? Okay, there's your divine masculine on the bottom, the emperor. Wow. This person's ready to take control, take charge, make decisive actions in their life in order to have union with you. So prepare yourself. This is marriage, celebration, union, reaching a milestone. It's like, re it's almost like reaching the finish line. If you look at this card, it's almost like this is a finish line and this is the ribbon and you're going to run across the finish line very soon. I picked up the deck and the King of Cups stayed down. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's more so what this 
what the King of Cups represents, which is love. This person loves you. They're in their feelings. This is intense. This is so intense. They're like drowning in their emotions. Look at this. The Emperor, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a whole lot of love. This person has a lot of love for you. Okay, let's get some more energy out. I'm going to put the King of Cups back and see if he pops out later. I just heard I'll be back, but I heard it in the Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. I heard I'll be back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be back. Your person's saying like, get ready. I'm coming for you. Like, I'm, I'll be back. I'll be back for you. Ooh. King of Pentacles, commitment, earth energy, stability, commitment, someone who wants stability, marriage, family life, settling down, this, whether this person is male or female, they would make a really good family person, okay, good mom, a good dad, judgment, Second chances, reconciliation, making a big decision, justice. Whoa. See, they decided to do what's right. There's some sort of truth here, some sort of clarity that's come through for this person. And they've made a decision here about you. I'll be back. The truth. Oh my gosh. Just as I talk about clarity, the Ace of Swords comes out, which represents clarity. Truth. Knowing exactly what you want and what you need to do. I'll be back. And that's the truth. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, this person is so frustrated. Okay. They're frustrated that they can't be with you in the way that they want. They're frustrated that they can't be close to you, intimate with you. Um, they're frustrated because they desire you. They desire you in all ways and they want a brand new passionate beginning with you here. They're about to pounce. There's judgment. Waking up, having a spiritual ascension, answering the call of your soul, doing what's right for you, living life for you, remembering who you are. The King of Wands, look at your person. This is that intense energy I'm feeling, okay? Like that your person is pacing back and forth. They're chomping at the bit. They're almost like, let me out of the gate. They're about to pounce. But look, here with the strength card, it's like, I've got to hold back. I've got to tame my desire. I've got to tame the beast, tame the lion. Whoa, boy. Easy, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just what I'm getting. Like, whoa, whoa, boy. You can't go in like that. Take it easy. Jeez. Okay, yeah, this person doesn't want to sabotage this union or this opportunity with you by acting too impulsively. The Empress, because you are in Empress energy and they have to treat you like such you guys this is like new beginnings you have a very fertile future here with this person whatever seeds you have planted they've grown within this person they want the ten of cups with you Family, love, laughter, all the joyous things. And as I say, love, laughter, and joy, I split the deck on the sun and my heart chakra is on fire. This person is in love with you. So in love with you, it's ridiculous, you guys. They've never felt this way before. You make them so happy. They can't eat, they can't sleep, they feel sick. They are love sick. The five of pentacles, they're sick. See? These people in this card are unwell. They're sick. 
without you in their life, they're not okay. They are unwell. They struggle. They want to come out of the cold. If this is a situation where they've been holding themselves back from you, this is how they feel. They feel depleted, depressed, unwell. They could have pulled away from you because you triggered them. Abandoned this connection for a little while. I don't really want to say abandoned, but they distanced themselves because they got triggered. Okay. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I feel sick. I'm also hearing like it's eating me up inside. Yeah, the hermit. This person pulled away. They got triggered and they pulled away and they went quiet and they went within to find the answers. I just, when I looked at the Ace of Wands, I heard, aha, <laughs> aha, like this person had an aha moment. I just saw 1111 on the timestamp. They realized something here. The King of Swords, they may have been dealing with, you know, karmic situations or people in their life. They could have run with the Seven of Swords that can indicate a runner. We've got a runner here. We've got a runner. <laughs> oh, gosh. But here's the thing. If this person ran from you, do you know what I see? I see you just stay, staying where you are, like not moving, going, oh, okay, bye. Like, have a nice run. Stay hydrated. Bye. I'll be right here sipping on my margarita on my lawn chair. In your Empress energy, oh, I'll be right here in my comfy chair, just chilling out, relaxing, enjoying the beautiful view, enjoying nature, and all that life has to offer. But have fun. Have fun on that run. You go do what you got to do. <laughs> right? And they did. And now they're coming back. That's how I feel. And now I'm hearing, back to life, back to reality. They're coming back. <gasps> The King of Cups came out. Isn't that so cool? Because he was here, right? He wanted to stay out when I picked up the deck. The King of Cups stayed out right here. And then I put him back in to see if he'd come out. And he did. Because guess why, guys? He's coming back. I'll be back. <laughs> Your King of Cups is coming back, whether they're male or female, because they're so in love with you. I'll be back for my empress I just heard I, I never really left okay this person never left you like emotionally they never left physically they may have detached but emotionally um, emotionally they never left they always felt bonded to you in love with you I'll be back Now I'm hearing you go, come and get your love. Whoa, 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 come and get your love. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> coming to get it. Okay. Come and get it. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> come and get it. It's like someone who's holding out a treat for their dog. Not that your person's a dog. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying it's like someone's like, come and get it. It could even be the universe going, come and get your empress. Or this is you. All right, I'll be here when you're ready. And then you can come get your love. Okay, darling, enjoy your run, love. Stay hydrated and come back. When you're done, when you feel tired and depleted, like you've run a five-day marathon and you can't go on anymore. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Come and get your love now. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Come and get your love now. The fool. <laughs> this person's coming, okay? In with a leap of faith, a risk, something um, they have to say to you is like weighing on them. And they got to get it off their chest. This could be an apology. 
all right but i'm telling you it's like they're ready they're ready to reveal reveal the truth yeah look at ten of swords you guys they're done running they're done they're too tired they can't run anymore they've been on this marathon they did not heed your advice they did not stay hydrated okay they didn't and so they have to come home for replenishment and nurture and uh, nurturing which is you the empress provides love and nurture warmth it's a place where you can grow. It's conducive to love, growth, and abundance. That's, that's you. So this person has been running away, getting very depleted. And now they're done. They're like, oh, I'm done. I'm tapping out. I'm tired. I can't run anymore. This cycle has to end. It has to end because I want to come home, four of wands. Running is getting me nowhere. It's almost like this person's like, what am I doing? It was almost like a reality check. Like, what am I doing? I'm telling you, it's some sort of massive clarity, epiphany. Yeah, the seven of swords. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I behaving this way? Why am I running? Where am I going? Where am I running to? Okay, this is, I'm telling you, you guys, this is your person's thoughts and feelings and words right now. <laughs> sorry i don't mean to laugh but there's humor here there is humor here there is okay it's again it's like this was you okay darling have a nice run i'll see you when you get back <laughs> and here they are coming back because they be thirsty they be thirsty all right so you guys this is the message um Come and get your love. Whoa. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Come and get your love now. Come and get your love. So get ready for union. So I channeled out prepare for union and the four of wands comes out, which is union. We have I am divorced on the bottom. So perhaps there's been a major ending here, you guys. I've been picking that up in my readings that recently a lot of the divine masculines, if you're dealing with one or your divine feminine, your person, whoever, they've been going through massive endings in their life. They've been letting go of a lot of things. They've been letting go of control, letting go of karmic people, places, and things, letting go of fear, letting go of... The runner mentality. And it's because you stayed still. You didn't budge. You were just like, oh, I'll be right here. I'll just sit here. <laughs> but you go out and you have fun. You go run. I am divorced, stayed down here. It wanted to stay out. That was so funny how the King of Cups, how I channeled out, I'll be back. And then the King of Cups came out twice. I'll be back. I love your smile. It warms my heart. This comes out a lot. You are the sunshine of my life. I know you'd understand. You're so compassionate and kind. I love this about you. So this could be some sort of an apology. Like, sorry, I ran. I hope you can understand that you just triggered me and I wasn't ready um, I have all these feelings for you, but I didn't handle this connection very well. It's eating me up inside. I need to talk to you. Exactly. This person has a truth. And an apology for you. They have a lot of things they need to tell you. And then on the bottom, I'm such a fool. I can't believe 
I never realized who you were. You are my person, an earth angel. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but it, it there is such like just, there's a cute, funny vibe to this reading. Okay. But I'm sure that this whole situation was not easy for the both of you. So please don't mistake my laughter for like me, um, yeah, like, I'm not laughing at the situation. It's it's just... Anyways, I hope you understand. I'm not laughing at you, okay? I'm laughing with you. <laughs> I hope you're laughing too, okay? I feel your energy around me all the time. It comforts me. I feel unconditional love from you. Unconditional love is something that the Divine Mother gives, which is the Empress energy, which you are in which makes sense. And that's why they run and they can never get re that type of energy anywhere else, right? I've been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my baby. Blah, 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 blah. This person has been around the world, running around the world, trying to escape, run from an empress. And along the way, they got really depleted, right? Because they've been starved of your energy. And then they realize, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I running for my lifeblood? Um, so anyways, they know that you'd be under, like understanding. Because you are the divine feminine, most likely. And divine feminine love is all about forgiveness, comfort. Oh my God gosh you guys look the more i run from this the deeper i fall the more i run from this the deeper i fall the more i run the deeper i fall being apart from you only makes my feelings grow you guys can you believe this is your mind totally blown right now mine is It's a runner. We've got a runner here. Oh no, we've got a runner. <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny. I'm sorry, but it is. You bring out the best in me. I'm so in love with you. Okay, this person loves you and they are coming back. They are, get ready, prepare for union. It's been a long time coming because this person's been running. They've been out on a run for way too long, but they want you and only you. They want to make this right because they've had time to think and reflect and they want to apologize and make amends. I'm so in love. Everyone around me is wondering what's wrong with me. Why are you acting so strange? They can't stop smiling and they can't stop singing. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think that's just like the perfect place to leave it. The more I run, the deeper I fall. So they're just going to circle back around and run right into your arms. That's how I feel. Now, if you don't want this person, that's your free will, your prerogative you decide it's your call it's your judgment okay <laughs> i'll be back for union and commitment and to tell you the truth about an ending this person might need a cuddle and I'm not kidding. This person might need a good, long hug and a cuddle and like some nurturing here. They've been far away for far too long. They've been far away for far too long. It's a song. It's a song coming in. Far away for far too long. Ah. Oh. It's faint. Far away for far too long. I feel like it's from the 80s. I 
It's not clicking for me, you guys. It's not coming in. But you know what you can do is you can just punch in far away. Oh, oh, thank you. It's Nickelback. It's Nickelback. I love you. I have loved you all along. And I miss you. Been far away for far too long. I love you. Key change. I have missed you all along. Okay, it's by Nickelback. Been far away for far too long. This person has isolated themselves from you. They ran from you and they're coming back. All right. This was an awesome reading, you guys. Like, awesome. This is going to have a happy ending. And now I'm getting that song by Av Avril Lavigne. Something about a happy ending. But I think that's a negative song. But anyways, I'm hearing happy ending. Happy ending, okay? You will have a happy ending here. You will get what is owed to you. The lover's. Okay, one more. Before we close out, just one more, real quick. Just one more. That's what I always say. Just one more. <laughs> just one more. Oh, okay. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And you know what? That is just Empress energy all over it. You know, you're like, I'm going to stay here in my garden and I'm going to water my flowers and tend to my roses. And I'm going to take care of myself and nurture myself and nurture my plants and animals and my children, if I, if you have any, or whatever it is, you guys. It's like, you take care of yourself. You enjoy life. You receive. You're an empress energy. You're chill. You're relaxed. You're calm. You're cool. You're confident. You trust in this connection. You already know what's going on. And it's given you this place. It's put you in this place, this position of power in a sense where you're like okay enjoy your run I'll see you when you get back and then this person's like wow that's really attractive that's extremely attractive in all ways This person has been humming and singing and whistling and smiling. It's bringing to mind that scene from The Little Mermaid when Ariel falls in love with Eric. And she's like, la, 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 la. And King Triton's like, oh my goodness, what has come over Ariel? What's with her? And they're like, oh, don't you know Ariel's in love? King Triton's like, Ariel in love my 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 but little does he know it is with a human but that's not the point the point is is that your person is lovesick it's almost like they're yeah smiling to themselves when they think about you thinking back on fond memories looking at your picture they could be watching your social media or, or something like this where you know, or pictures of you on their phone, going over old messages and realizing just how handsome or gorgeous you are and how in love they are with you. All right. So right now they're pacing because things are intense. Things are intense. There's a lot of triggering desire. They're about to pounce. They feel lovesick. They are a little bit terrified, but it's like they've had this epiphany. And they're circling back around to the finish line. <laughs> I just see somebody, I see the Empress, which is you, standing up going, finally, my love, thank you for joining me. Please have a seat. <laughs> like, it's like that. I don't know. It's just kind of funny. All right, you guys. So prepare for union. Your divine counterpart will be back for you. Because 
you've been far away for far too long and, and they're craving you and it's intense. So please look up that song, you guys. It's actually a really beautiful love song. You know, for a rock band, I have to say, this song is very, very twin flamey. Nickelback, far away for far too long. If you do not want to watch the video, that's okay, but I suggest reading the lyrics at least. I miss you. I love you. Right? Far away for far too long. I need you. Yeah, beautiful song. I'm going to go listen to it right now myself. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. All the good vibes. Stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned. Thank you so much for being here again. Wishing you all the best. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.